Better music. This is Q Radio. I've got uh, Stephanie Falloon on the phone. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Hello, Earl. How's things? I'm good. Now, you're uh, a busy lady. You're involved with this this performance of All Shook Up. Tell me all about that. I am indeed. Um, all Shook Up is playing at the Bardock Theatre in Donick Moore at the moment. And uh, I direct, directed and produced the production. And I'm also uh, playing the part of Sylvia as well. So I'm busy, busy. How do you do all, all three of those jobs? Because they're normally, you know, like one person's job each. But you're doing the three of them in the one go. Oh, I know. Sometimes I ask myself the same question, I have to be honest. Um, no, I absolutely love it. I I come from a theatrical background and I started out as a musical theatre performer. And my grandfather, Sean Falloon, he was the director and producer um, in the theatre. He still does our plays, but I kind of took over the reins where musicals are concerned with um, from him. So I do it. And to be honest, I honestly couldn't sit back and watch the actors then do it because I just would always feel the need to get up there so I manage it somehow and it always seems to come off so I'll not complain it's stressful don't get me wrong but let me tell you it's well worth it now Now tell us about All Shook Up it started didn't it at the beginning of February and it runs right through until the 18th of February is that right? That's right, right. It, started, it started last weekend and it went down a storm thankfully um, we're playing until the 18th we started back we've no Monday or Tuesday performances so we started back last night and it really has something for everyone. It's got um, the cheesy storyline where a roustabout um, comes into a very lifeless town and uh, brings it back to life as such with the music and everybody falls for everybody. So um, it's got the cheese, it's got the story, it's certainly, certainly got the laughs and I'm um, sure you can't go wrong with Elvis music at the mm. end of the day. I was going to say that to you. If you're a big fan of Elvis, you're going to want to go along to this. And you know, even even if you're not, you know, some of my family wouldn't be huge with... We come from like a, a rock background with Queen and stuff, but um, even people who aren't huge fans of Elvis have come along and they have said they've loved it because, it, you know, the songs aren't performed like an Elvis tribute either. They're his songs, which are amazing, but they've got a musical theatre arrangement, which just the harmonies um, that Damien Cullen has put together along with Jimmy Lee Manili's choreography, it's just, it is, it's honestly a credit to everyone involved. Um, and it is, it's a big team effort and... Thankfully, as I say, it's been going down a treat and the weekends now are sold out. The Friday and Saturday nights are sold out. So there is limited availability still left for um, Wednesday and Thursday. How long does it take you to put something like this together? We have been working on it. Um, normally, we're actually working on it from the start of October. But this year, I um, had commitments uh, with a concert with myself um, until the end of October. So we didn't get started until after Halloween, you may say. Um so it is, it's months and months of hard work and graft, but um, whenever the show gets up and running and you're hearing the reviews and the Bardic, it's a real family environment, you know, and the crack along with the success of the production, I can't even put it into words, it is honestly three of the most enjoyable weeks you could have. Yeah, I'm just looking at the pictures here, and there's a great website, broadwayworld.com, and they're yes, reviewing yes, it. Yes, um, yes. There's a picture there yes, of you with them. Um, so. And you're Sylvia in it. I am Sylvia, yes. I'm the feisty one <laughs> of the last two I am. <laughs> there's a good picture of you there, along with uh, Declan McGrath as Jim. Yeah, that's and him. He play, I play opposite Decky again. It's a, it's a pleasure. Never a dull moment. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all shook up, and that's running right through until the 18th of February. Uh, then yeah. you've got a, a one lady show, well, kind of. It's yourself, an evening with Steph and friends. Yes. Um, that's at the Marketplace Theatre in Armagh, isn't it? Yes, that is uh, on the 4th of March, Saturday the 4th of March, um, in Marketplace Armagh, as you say. And uh, I held the concert in the Bardock. Uh, for two nights, which very, very lucky and feel very, very privileged that was sold out for two nights. So um, I got offered the chance to revive it uh, in Arma and I grabbed it with both hands because it honestly was one of the most, something that I'll treasure forever. And I, I feel very lucky to be reviving it because I get to relive it and fully embrace it this time. I've, it was very, very nerve-wracking and mm. scary the first time. So I'll embrace it all this time. And it's basically... A night um, of myself singing musical theatre songs, chart songs, Adele, traditional Irish music songs, and I'm joined um, from by some of my friends from the Bardock, a lot of whom actually are starring in the show at the moment, um, and the band behind me as well, the Bardock band. So it's always a, a great, great night, and if you're at a loose end on Saturday the 4th of March, I'd love to see... Um, strangers and indeed the familiar faces as well <laughs> and tickets are still available for that is it the marketplace yeah you can get them through the bardic website as well bardicfaser.com right. 
or the Marketplace Armagh website as well. God, you've just finished one high and you're about to go and do another one. I tell you, it's been a whirlwind, but you know what? I'm taking a month out in March. It's just been constant, so I'm going to go and see a bit of the world and uh, enjoy the break that I feel like I've earned. <laughs>